The other day I was painting and a lady came by and she lives just across the street from the painting and she came over and she just said this is the most beautiful thing in the community. And then a few hours later another lady came by and she didn't say anything, she blessed herself and said a prayer. And that for me was a reminder that the beauty of the saints, the beauty of sacred art is a beauty that points beyond itself. When I was able to paint this image of Mary Lang, the purpose of the painting is to make Christ's presence known and to make his love known. And that the images of the saints, like the lives of the saints, do just that. So when we're painting a saint, we're not worshiping the saint themselves, we're actually portraying Christ in that saint and making Christ present in this community. One way in which the church can engage popular culture is through its rich tradition of sacred art. That's always been the case. And art has, in the past, played a major role in catechesis and evangelization um, in making the church attractive. And one way she does that is by portraying the saints. And so anytime we're able to do a work that's public, as this one is, it's just a really important important opportunity to put the beauty of Christ kind of on the front lines of the culture and engage the community in a real way.